the live that Royce and Liz was playing earlier. That wasn't from the Trump Towers. That was from Motel 6 or whatever. All I know is I want him out of jail. I just want him out of jail. Yeah, I'm crying for him. <sighs> First of all, Gigi, we've been back in Vegas. Let me see. When did we come to Vegas, y'all? We came back to Vegas in February. Back to Vegas in February, I think. I'm not sure. I'm crying because I'm sad. I'm not looking at the comments. People keep trying to get in the queue. So, like I said, the video that Liz and um, 
Royce was listening to that was not from the Trump Towers. Um, <laughs> I don't care about nobody calling me a rat, a this, that, and a third. If a man was physically abusing you and doing out-of-pocket shit to you bitches, too, y'all would have called the police, too. So shut the fuck up. Like I said, I've told y'all, Finesse already knew I've called the police on him multiple times and he was doing weird shit to me. Um, I'm not about to just speak negatively upon him because I love him and I fuck with him as a person and a human being in general. And I don't want to put no negative light against him like I already have. Like... But there's things I want to say that I can't. It's so much more to this than y'all have. Y'all even know. Y'all only see what y'all get on the app. <clears throat> um, like I said, there's, there's more behind closed doors than what y'all have seen. That was going on between us. I don't know why I kept coming back around for this. I don't know. I can't answer that. Just because I fuck with him. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not going to sit there and deny. Like I haven't called the police against him when I was on live calling the police on him because he was doing things to me that he shouldn't have been doing. So it made me feel like I should call law enforcement against him. I'm not a download snitch, send diamond bitch, you sound retarded. Like I said, if you hoes are getting hands put on y'all, if y'all got snatched back into a car and a nigga was trying to drive off with you, or anything of that nature, you hoes would be fucking calling the police too if you feel like your life's at risk. The fuck? <sighs> So I feel bad for finesse because I told the state that I wasn't pressing charges. When I called the police and they said, Do you want to press charges? I say no. So for them to go ahead and press charges anyway, it just hurts my villains. Like I did not want that for him. That's why it hurts my feelings so much. <laughs> like, I don't want that for him. I don't want to see him go to prison for the rest of his life. <laughs> like, that's not fair to finesse. That's really not fair for him. And I just, like, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> not he's not if you don't testify all I know is I just feel bad for him cause like we have like text messages and stuff like me and Finesse talked a certain way that's not good for him bro it's like too much. It's too much. This is way too much. I'm not going to elaborate nothing further on that nature.
<clears throat> that I'm really kind of scared to speak on, like, the real facts. Because, like, I don't know who's listening to this live. I don't know who y'all are, for real. Who's behind these screens? I'm not fake. Like I said, if a nigga was putting their hands on you and Finesse knew that the police were being called against him. So, like, people were saying, it's both of our faults for coming around each other. We should have just stayed separated. We should have just stayed separated and it would have been good. Like, when I was away from him for that 30 days, I should have just stayed gone, bro.